Hi, I'm Chris Bird with the Bird's Eye View. I want to talk about the championship fight with Kel Brock, Sean Porter. Great matchup. One thing about Kel Brock, I think a lot of people in America haven't really seen him fight. You know, great record. I think 33 and 0. You know, a lot 22 knockouts. Good boxer. Heard about him, but not really seen him fight. And with Sean Porter, the, the next big welterweight coming up. Everybody's talking about, you know, it's a great matchup, especially when you got an undefeated guys clashing. But the, the thing about Sean Porter, the, the game plan of just jumping in, rushing, it seemed like he was just overexcited for, for, the, for the title bout, getting it going, showing the world that he's the best at 147, and just rushing himself, coming straight forward, face forward, where Kel Brock just takes his time. And if you notice, he just pick his shots, picking shots. His jab, the right hand, that one-two was getting in flush as Sean Porter coming face forward, not setting it up. I thought Sean would, you know, sometimes just uh, come straight to him without winging shots, cut the distance. When he get to Kale Brock, then throw the punches. Sometimes he overcommitted, didn't have enough space to throw his punches, throwing looping shots. When he got in and coming in at the same time, so it, it, it really never he really never landed great shots. Never had a, like a game plan of really what he wanted to do. And Kel Brock in in those certain rounds was just stealing rounds with precise punching, good stuff, being patient, talented guy, very talented. But Sean Porter, talented talented kid too. I just think. In my opinion, it, it may have been the moment, you know, just just so much and and just just so much pressure on him. I guess I don't know. It just the game plan did it just didn't work. I mean, it was a tough fight. And one thing about Sean Porter for twelve rounds, he put in work. I mean, one thing he did, he was coming, bringing pressure, throwing throwing a lot of winged shots. That take a lot of energy, especially for twelve rounds of doing it. But the judges, of course, didn't see it in that favor. And Kel Brock did win, you know, win the title. He outpointed him. And he's a new champion. And I think he, it's a lot of great fights for him at welterweight um, for Kel Brock. Good kid. I mean, good, just a good boxer all around. And props to him. Props to Sean Porter. He'll be back. Young guy. Uh, go back to the drawing board. Get that game plan down. He'll be back in the mix. Thanks a lot. You got the bird's eye view.